Uh, hello. I had a really awesome and memorable day, so I'm going to have to do a video, uh, vlog about it. I have to do it because um, it was really, really awesome and one of my favourite days I've had. And it's up th right up there with um, that time, a long time ago when I went to America and um, I got to see uh, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls play against Seattle. That was really awesome. Like, it's up there with that because um, one of my favourite sports players ever since I started seeing her, um, I think Wimbledon in 2004, I think that's the year it was, um, is Maria Sharapova. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've been following her career ever since then. Like, every time the tennis is on, like, I kind of keep up with what she's, um, how she's doing and watching her matches and stuff, and I love it. She's my favourite player. Um, and so... Basically, what happened was I I've been a few times to the tennis this year, and I was not expecting to go today. This is the Sunday in the middle of the Australian Open 2016. Um, I actually had planned to um, go to have lunch with my one of my friends from high school, John Lay. Uh, so I organised with him to go to lunch. But yesterday, um, I got a message from my friend Chai, who said, um, "Hey, guess what? Guess what? I have tickets to." And then I was like, "What?" And she said. Um, front row tickets to see Sharapova at Rod Laver Arenas tomorrow, which is Sunday. And I was like, whoa, that's so awesome. That's really cool. And then she messaged and said, um, you know, maybe, uh, if you want, um, I could share it with you. If you could, you know, get a, like, ground pass to get inside, like, you know, we could share the ticket. And I was like, oh. Hmm. And at the time, I was down to like um, very few percent of batteries, like I think really low percent of batteries. And this was in the afternoon because I had done some stuff in the morning and just used up a lot of my phone um, batteries and photos and videos and stuff, like heaps. So I was like, um, just hold that thought. <laughs> so I went home and um, charged my phone and uh, I messaged her back going, okay, let's do this. Like I was like, you know, um, basically my philosophy is like, if something's going to be fun and will give me good memories and I'll, it just seems like the thing to do, I'm, I'm like, I'll just do it. So I said, yes, let's do this. So I messaged my friend John and, and like, we're really good friends. So I was like, I, I told him, um, can we postpone this? Because my friend's offering me, um, to share tickets to, um, see Sharapova. And I was like, and he's like, yeah, yeah, we can do it later. And so I was like, okay, that's awesome. So t this morning, um, so her match was at 11 in the morning, and the plan was that Chai would watch the first set, and then she would come out um, to door 13, and then she'd give me the ticket, and then I would go in and, and um, sit in her seat. Um, wait, wait, wait. So, yeah, but I, I had to buy a ground pass to get in, which um, was 60 bucks to get in for the Sunday, but for me, it was like a no-brainer. It was like totally worth it for this experience, because how often am I going to get a chance to get front row ticks to Rod Laver Arena when Sharapova is playing, you know, I'm not going to pass this up, no way, no way, no way, so, um, so we got, so, um, the thing is, um, I looked at the practice schedule for the day, and actually Sharapova was practicing that day from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, so, and, but the gates open at, at Rod, uh, at the tennis at 10 o'clock, so I was thinking, if I get to the tennis at 10 o'clock, I might just be able to catch her finishing her training and then because I really would love a photo with her that would be awesome but uh, I was also I knew that uh, it might she might not be there because it was slightly raining a little bit and also um, she's got a mat straight off that so she might be really focused um, but when I got there um, it was raining a little bit but it's funnily enough like when I got to the um, tennis at 10 o'clock just exactly as I was going through the gate you know scanning my ticket to get inside um, Chai rang up just then. I don't know why I'm mentioning that. It's, I thought it was just a funny coincidence that the exact time that she called was, <laughs> was when I was scanning to go. So I hung up on her and I talked to her afterwards. I'm just realizing this point is kind of irrelevant. I just, I like when things kind of like happen, you know, in sync or I don't know. You know, when you rock up to the train station and the train just is there, like you don't even have to wait. That kind of stuff is really cool. I when I, I always take it to us as a sign, like I'm doing the right thing for this day or something. I don't know. I feel like that. But then again, some days I have to wait like 58 minutes, and it's like, yeah, that's a late night train on this weekend. Anyways, back on topic. It was amazing, but I'm just gonna get to that. So I met up with Chai. We had a really fun time in the morning. Like 
it was such a fun day, like experience. Like the whole morning was so fun and awesome. I really enjoyed it. Um, for some reason, I when I was at the tennis, I just inside the Rod Laver Arena in the morning, it kind of felt like I was at the lounge of a airport terminal. That's just another point I wanted to say. Um, so I met up with Chai. It was really fun. We we talk, we ch- hang out and stuff, and. Um, well, we, we, we are waiting for her friend because she had a friend from work as well who was going to sit next to her named Vasuda. Vasuda. And um, when Vasuda rocked up, she said she she said something that was like, awesome! <laughs> Basically, because what the plan was, Chai, was, Chai and Vasuda were going to sit in the, the match, right? This is Chai and this is Vasuda. <laughs> and then Vasuda. And then Chai would let me come back and sit for the second half of the match but <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing the finger thing <laughs> Vasuda what Vasuda said was like you know I want so you guys should be able to sit together so she said her husband is in high sense arena so she will sit with him for the match Sharapova match and let me have her ticket so I could sit and try for the Rod Laver Sharapova match is when I heard that I was like because I was happy enough just to see half of a match. I was happy enough to see anything, you know. Whatever Chai didn't want to see, I was happy to see. But for me to get to see the whole match, that was more than I could dream of. Um, in the morning, actually, one of my friends, Monon, um, she, sa- she said, oh, so dreams do really come true. And, and I messaged back going, well, I forgot what I messaged back, actually. But basically, I, I didn't even dream that I would actually be in this situation, you know, like that I would get front row tickets to Rod Laver Arena to see Sharapova. I was happy last week when I um, bought tickets to see her for the first time playing in on Margaret Court Arena. I had a good time doing that. That was amazing for me. So, yeah. Um, so, then we went inside and, you know, we went down and it was surreal because the atmosphere was really cool. It was like, you know those times when you have something, like you're in an experience and you're thinking, this is like amazing what am i doing here like kind of thing the the roof was closed because it was raining outside so the whole atmosphere was a little bit different so there's a lot of people in there and um we we're so close it's like we we're on the edge of the rod Laver arena and then um when i sat down chai happened to mention hey guess what we're right next to a player's box box you know the box where the players have their coaches and all that stuff sitting there like they always flash to on the tv um, we were sitting right next to them. Like, there was just the aisle, you know, the stairs mm-hmm. between us and them. Like, they were to the left. I'll actually show you a picture of it. They were so close. I was like, whoa. And you know when the match started, Chai was like, they're Sharapova's box. Because it could have been either player's boxes. Uh, Sharapova, would, this is the, I think, the fourth round, I think. And she was playing someone named Benjic, who's uh, ranked number 12. It was a good match. I'll get to that. Um, let me try to find the picture. Here we go. That's our view of the players' box. They're right next to us. Right next to us. See the stairs at the bottom? That's the only thing separating us and them. Yeah, that's so good. Uh, I'll show you a picture of our view. Okay, so this is a picture I took that had the ticket and everything next to it. So that's the ticket. And that's Sharapova in the background. It's not in focus, but you get the idea, right? See how that? See that? It was awesome. She was really close. <sighs> it was good. Um, so it was so much fun. It was like surreal. And I was getting flashbacks to like, it was like the level of uh, awesome for, for my feeling was like, same as seeing Michael Jordan. Because Sharapova is I'm f- one of my favorites. And it's funny to watch someone for so long on TV and then you see them in person it's like kind of like really strange for the brain to comprehend (laughs) but awesome it was awesome and what was really awesome was the match was really 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 good like it was close like I think Sharapova got broken twice in the first set but also but then she would break back in straight afterwards and I think she the match ended up being 7-5 in the first set and was so intense and so close and and Sharapova was playing really well as well. It wasn't like she was making a lot of mistakes as well. It was just really high level tennis and it was so exciting. So she won the first set. And what was really fun was um 
there was one spare seat next to us, um, and this girl came down during points and stuff, and she was um, taking photos with a phone, and she sat there for a while, and 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 like she looked at me, and and it, and I, I was like, oh, I don't mind. And then um, she was just checking every now and then if I mind it. And then she said, is anyone sitting here? And I was like, no, you can stay there. And so she sat there and um, she was with her friend um, up in the third row or something like that. And um, it w- didn't take us long to find out that she was a Sharapova fan. And um, from what I've gathered, like experienced from the last week or so, is that I bump into, every time I go to a Sharapova match and um, I'm supporting Sharapova, I bump into another Sharapova fan or... And we get along so well, like, because of this common passion for Sh- Maria Sharapova. And I got along with her really well. And um, she's from Sydney, and she came down for Sharapova. And she's been a fan of Sharapova, same as me, since 2004. I, I'm going to guess that's when she won Wimbledon. Um, or maybe before that, I don't know. But I I started being a fan when she won Wimbledon, because that's when I first was aware of her. But And this girl was so cool. Like, um, she was, like... She loved Sharapova so much, she could not contain herself. She kept on shouting out, Go, Masha! Go, Maria! Was it? Um, keep up, keep it up, Maria, and all the stuff. And she was saying so much all the time. <laughs> she couldn't help herself. She really couldn't. And at one stage, she um, she said, Oh, my God, I'm so loud. And she goes, Oh, I must be annoying everyone. And she goes, I want to try and be quiet for the next five minutes. <laughs> and it was always funny. It was like, she, for the next few minutes, she was like, Go, Maria! It was crack up. It was a crack up. It was really funny. Uh, it was really cool. And she felt kind of torn because um, her friend was behind in the other row. And she was trying to get her friend to come sit down. Um, down Because there were some empty seats kind of near us. Um, so what it happened in the end was um, Chai and I shifted over uh, to two empty seats. And her friend came and sat next to her. So that was good. So they kind of sat together and stuff. It was good. Um so the second set was really good as well and the whole time it was like it wasn't like one of those matches where Shara Prabhu will win like 6-2 six, 6-1 six, six, or something like that it was like really close really close but so exciting at the same time like it was such a good match and guess what um, oh, my dad he recorded it so I have a copy of it and what is really cool is because um, we're sitting next to the players box so I messaged my sister going um, oh my gosh we're in the Shara Prabhu match and I'm sitting right near the um the Shara Prova's players box so you might be able to see us if you switch on TV and then she said um she messaged me back goes I think mom saw you um on the TV sitting next to the players box I was like cool awesome so I'm gonna rewatch that can't wait so um oh what else to say except that it was an amazing experience like it was really really awesome seeing the live so good I cannot get over it uh, and I have to thank Chai and Vasuda for letting me experience that. That was amazing. And I was, yeah, that was a really good morning. So I, I had a big smile on my face for the whole day. When something like that happens, you just have an awesome day, guaranteed, because you've had an awesome thing happen already. So you can't go, you cannot go wrong. And I had a really good day as well. So I think that's all I want to say. Um, oh, so I'll show you pictures of these awesome people who let me there. This is Vasuda. Vasuda. Chai's workmate. So she's got um, Swiss Switzerland face paint on, I think. She didn't, when I first saw her in the morning, she didn't have it on. <laughs> she she just came, arrived, and then next time I saw her after the shower program, she had that on, so she must have got it painted somewhere. Fun. Um, and... Uh, 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 okay. Just hold on. And that's, um... Oh, because the Emirates. We saw some Emirates people. You know, it's fun. All these photo opportunities are really fun. So on the right, on this one, this side, that's Chai. Wearing a cool leather jacket. So those are the two awesome people that let me experience. It was like, uh, I was thinking it was kind of like, you know, Make-A-Wish Foundation, where they let people live out their dreams. So that was like definitely one of my dreams. Definitely. Mm. And I got to do it today. So super happy, very easy to smile. All right, so that's all I want to say for this video. I think, yeah, um, I think um, my friend Monan mentioned that this was her would have would was her six hundredth match win or something like that. I'm not sure. That's what I think she said. I'm not sure if it's true or not. 
or if I heard wrong. And also, what was funny about this match in particular is that um, for the match point, right, she hit the ball and it was called out, right? And then she did a challenge because she said she felt like um, it was in, like when she hit it, she felt she, it felt good. And then so that we did the challenge thing, you know, with the Hawkeye where they have it on the screen and then the ball goes, Ooh. and what's fun when you're in the stadium when you watch this kind of stuff is that everyone's like, It's really fun. And to be part of that as well. So, you know, when I watch this tape of it, I'm part of the noise. Ah, another thing I did. Um, I actually called out in the in between points, Go Maria! Or Go... I think I said Go Maria a, a couple times. So she definitely would have heard me because she was so close. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to say it too much because I am I felt like... um, Yeah, I didn't want to ruin her concentration or anything like that. But yeah, it was cool. It was so, so much fun. I mean, and I'm glad she won because if she did had lost, it would have it would have been really sad. <laughs> but she won. She won a very exciting match. I could not have been happier. Yes. All right. That's all for the video.